Hey, good morning, fellas. Monday, the 22nd. I'm out here on my morning walk. I'll give you the sun's trying. I'm trying to beat the sun, which would come up right over there. Franklin Mountains. Um, this uh, video is about why you need to stay out of the uh, healthcare system if you can. Uh, one of the things you know, and I'll put a video in there from a doctor on why you should stay out. The United States is very good at acute care, okay? Now, acute care is different from chronic. Acute care is like my allergies. It comes and goes. It's called acute and transitory. The other one is chronic in nature, which means that you have a persistent issue for over six months. The U.S. is awesome at acute care. Slap a Band-Aid on it. Keep walking. There's a young lady who has to use a walker, so I'm going to get out of her way. The difference is the U.S. is horrible at chronic care. Let me hang on. Morning, ma'am. So... What I say is that you should do everything you can to stay out of our healthcare system. Because you are not seen, in my opinion, and this is not medical advice or anything like that or whichever fucking disclaimer I have to use. It's not medical advice, but I used to write called an informal hearing presentation for judges to argue for or against a position and I can tell you on top of that I was actually in the hospital for 18 months recovering from some things that happened to me when I was in the military can you tell I'm going uphill <laughs> anyways um, They just, your, our health care is based on profit. And that is where I think we've made a massive mistake. To the point, our entire system is based on profit to the point that they actually have the same thing they have in life insurance which is called an actuary. Actuaries are accountants without a sense of humor. Actuaries are the people who by your ethnicity, height, weight, a bunch of different factors can pretty much guess when you're gonna die. In the healthcare system, those people are called health benefits managers. Now they will, can tell a medical company or an insurance company or a benefit company exactly how much money they can make off your disease, whether it's acute or chronic. How many physical therapy appointments you're gonna need, how much it's gonna cost, what the insurance will pay and all that kind of stuff. So instead of you being a human being, you become a set of numbers that they're going to try to manipulate to make as much money off of you as they can. It's why they fought so hard not to allow us to have what they call uh, generic medications. I think the United States produces the most research and development for medications and our cost is not passed on outside the country, it's passed on to the people inside the United States, meaning that we pay the price for higher med medications than the rest of the United States, the rest of the world. 
Uh, I know of people that go come specifically here to get dental and medical work done in Juarez. I know people that live up near Canada or that go traveling up to Canada to buy medications and the rest of that. Hell, I remember them using, used to do uh, tour buses full of them. So anyways, it's why you don't hear a uh, big push for people to stay in shape, eat right, eat whole foods, stay in shape, uh, keep their weight down, modify their behaviors, so such as drinking and smoking. And oh, by the way, from what I gather, if you're a smoker, that encourages your chances of getting cancer by a fat total of 7%. Do you know, because I love giving out these things called statins. Statins are the supposed to lower your blood pressure. There's much easier ways. Turmeric can lower your blood pressure with turmeric anyways. Um, how much, if you took your statin at the exact dose every day for the rest of your life, that medication might, and here it is, possibly could give you an extra three days. And that's a direct quote from the uh, Joe Rogan experience. And Rogan's response to the guy was, what if those are three great days? So it is uh, what it is. I don't know. Anyway, just stay out of the, stay out of the healthcare system if you can. And you can do that by eating right. And you don't, it doesn't have to be expensive to eat right. Eat good whole foods. Those are big ass pigeons. Okay. Well, anyways, I swear they were there. Anyway, doesn't matter. I love you guys. Stay safe and healthy. Take care of each other if you can, and if you can't, you take care of yourself. My next video is going to be about uh, conspiracy theories. Uh, last night, last yesterday afternoon, I sat down with uh, my wife's nephew and four of his friends. They are all in their 30s. They used to, well, they're still, well, they used to. They don't play it anymore. They used to be in a death metal band, which was called Orcus, which had a regionally, regionally in Juarez and here in El Paso, they had a pretty decent following. But they've all decided to uh, find fiancés and get actual careers and not jobs. So we sat down and talked for probably four or five hours they asked me the same questions i asked the guys that are in their 70s about how you age what can i expect and that kind of stuff and uh it was a very interesting discussion all right stay safe and healthy take care of each other if you can and if you can't you take care of yourself like a fart in a g-string from west texas el paso i'm out of here bye-bye